Howdy, so this is my Leverboot X200S, and sorry I haven't made a video in three weeks, but my last video was on how to Leverboot your X200. So, with the X200S and X200T models, the process is slightly different, but it pretty much comes down to it, them using a WSON 8 package to store the BIOS instead of a SOIC 8 or SOIC 16. And with that come some challenges, because WSON 8 doesn't really have clips for it. You actually have to either solder to some leads on the side of the chip, or I think the actual proper method is to use a rework station to remove the chip and put it on an adapter board, which costs like, I, the cheapest I found them was on Alibaba for $43. I actually was considering this method and I did uh, buy a breakout board, which was $8, but you actually have to solder it to the breakout board. So for that process with the breakout board, which is a little bit cheaper, you'd still have to buy a rework station. At that point though, you're spending money on a rework station and those little breakout board things and you actually have to remove the chip, solder it to the breakout board, flash it, and then put it back. It kind of becomes a process that's a little bit more than what I wanted to do. But the other method is to simply just buy a cheap soldering station with a tiny tip. Well, actually I had to buy the tip separately because this is a Yahua 936B, which actually was a pretty good deal. I think I paid $23 for this. It is a Chinese clone made in the Guangzhou Yahua Electronic Equipment Co. or made by. I thought it was going to be the Guangzhou district or something. I have, I have no clue. I've never been to China. But anyways, though, $23 takes Hako chips from the Hako 963B or 936B and you can do some decent soldering for $23 with this. And it comes with this neat O. I I guess it's like the, it's not an ashtray. Uh, you use it to, for the, you put like water in the sponge and, you know, soldering iron and helps you, you know, makes like a sizzling noise, it's kind of neat. But anyways though, yeah, sorry for that tangent. Yeah, you can solder the weeds, but the issue I had was I wasn't very good at soldering. I actually did mess up a board. I got it looking pretty neat once or twice, but it was still kind of, uh, well, I turned on the Raspberry Pi and no flash chip found. And this kind of just led me to repeatedly try that and just try to redo my soldering job because I'm not very good at soldering until something worked. But it turns out after having a friend do the soldering, it wasn't my terrible soldering job. You know what it was? It was the fact that you're gonna need a 3.3 volt power supply and to power it because most of the time you can just use the ThinkPad power supply and plug it into the motherboard and it'll power that WSON 8 chip or, or not WSON 8 chip, but Swake chip or use the 3.3 volt rail on the Raspberry Pi but for some reason on the X200S this does not work and me not knowing that and not being greatly skilled at soldering, I just thought my soldering job was messed up. And this, repeating that process enough times eventually led me to ruin a X200S board. So, I got another X200S board, and actually another X200S. I used some of the parts to fix up an X200, which I sold. But, this one had, I do have a spare 1440 by 900 panel now, but this, uh, there's also another 1440 by 900 uh, X200S. I paid $46 for it. And I used the computer power supply to kind of power the 3.3 volt rail and solder it. Also, if uh, you're kind of bad at soldering, these uh, a neat strategy to make it a little bit easier instead of like soldering each uh, wire individually. They can get some ribbon cable, since I have like boxes of this stuff. 
I just cut one and used, um, well I cut it into little strips of four, which fit about at the sides of the uh, W Sun 8 chip and positioned it with hot glue. And then from there I stripped, well the wires were stripped and I could use that to pretty much just solder the sides of the w 8 chip, which made it a lot easier since everything was kind of just there and not and in place already. And then from there I just spliced it to some, let's see if I can find one of these on the floor. I know I have some jumper, or, oh yeah, something like this. I have like some cut up, uh, you know, jumper cable sort of things. You can buy these on eBay for like packs of uh, 20 and they come in like a ribbon cable strip pretty cheaply. So, yeah, um, after that, Raspberry Pi recognized the WSON 8 chip and I was able to flash Weber boot on it. But that's how you uh, Weber boot a X200S or X200T. Everything else is the same, and this is kind of on the shoestring budget of $23 and stuff laying around your house. Not including the motherboard I had to buy. But yeah, or part system. Ooh, I can be in a horror movie now. Okay, actually it should be the band-aid. This is bleeding quite a lot. Huh. Okay. Oh yeah, and speaking of uh, bleeding due to cuts of metal, you should get a tetanus shot. I think you have to get a booster after you're 10 years old and get one at 20. Tetanus shots are good to have.